is up folks welcome to another edition of Billy the Kids no bullshit toy reviews and today we're going to do a quick comparison of the X Transpot Jansen and the Fans Toys Tesla 2.0 just so you know if you're getting your money's worth I'm going to start it off with the accessories and we're going to go with Fans Toys and then we're going to go with X Transpots so Fans Toys comes with this blaster very nice this blaster, which does not have a working spring-loaded missile, and a chest piece to solidify his chest. He also comes with seven different heads. All right, um, one, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. And that's going to call it for the Fans Toys Offerings accessories. Now, X Transbots offers you this blaster. It's big, it's bulky, and it's doofy, just like something out of Season 3's animation. So I'm going to go with that. This blaster which does have a spring-loaded missile, so that's pretty cool. This smaller blaster, a tiny version of himself as a microscope, tiny fully articulated version of himself, tiny fully articulated version of Bumblebee, a tiny fully articulated version of Brawn, a flask, a beaker and a test tube. Really cool. This blast effect, which works on all of his guns. So, a perk for all you toy photographers. An IDW head and a second IDW head. And including the one on his head now, six faces. So accessories-wise, X Transbots gives you a hell of a lot more shit. So accessories are definitely going to go to X Transbots here. As for the figures themselves, they both are hefty. They both have a lot of die cast. They're both painted uh, very well, but I'm going to give Fans Toys the up on the paint because there's no chipping. I haven't had any paint chipping, whereas this guy, I've had paint chipping and paint scratching to the point where I'll never transform him again. All right. Articulation on these guys, X Transbots, we look up, we look kind of down, full 360 degrees. We've got a working arm here and extension. Shoulders come up this far, shoulders rotate, bicep swivel, massive bend at the elbow. In fact, it's a double bend, rotation at the wrist, up and down, actually just upwards movement at the wrist, uh, multiple posable spots at the thumb, uh, fingers are on a shared knuckle here for these three, and then a separate pointer finger. Waist rotation. Super tight, but there is an ab crunch. Full Van Dam, backwards this far, forward this far, thigh swivel, excellent bend at the knee, feet go upwards and downwards, and they have ankle rockers. Wobbly as shit at the chest ever since I transformed him. And no matter what, this piece likes to pop out. So there is that. Fans Toys. Looks up, looks down. Rotates. Not all the way. It's hindered by the microscope. No side-to-side -side motion. 
we can come up this far. If we want to undo this piece, it comes up even more. Rotation at the shoulder. Bicep swivel. Single bend at the elbow, but it gives you more than enough. Fully individually articulated fingers and wrist rotation. Fansoys definitely takes the cake for those hands, man. Waist rotation, a very easy to use ab crunch, not as much of a bend though as X Transbots. Full Van Dam, no problem. Kick back all the way. Kicks forward all the way. Excellent bend at the knee. Ankle rocker, downwards, nothing upwards. I'm gonna give them almost a tie. I mean, they have, they have the exact same range of motion. Fans Toys just kind of wins with these fully articulated fingers. Fans Toys holds together far better. Let's just put that out there. I'm not gonna compare the um, alt modes I will never transform this figure again. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. My arms got stuck last time, and it, it's just not going to happen. So I'm not comparing the alt modes. As for the bot mode, it's really going to fall on you as to what aesthetic you like. Um, personally, I think he looks better. He looks like the Perceptor that I remember, but he's made better. His materials are better. He holds together better. He is a better quality figure. In regards to accessories, he wins again. He, they give you so much shit, but it's, I really feel like it's to make up for the poor quality of workmanship here. Ultimately, I as a collector, I go for on my display what looks the best to me in regards to tune accuracy. I think this guy looks better. I wish that this wasn't here. This is nice and clean. And if they would have just swapped the engineering, they could have had a cleaner forearm, but it is what it is. I think he looks better, so he's gonna be on my shelf. But I think that this here is a better toy. I think that this is a better figure. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna mess with and I'm gonna take pictures with and I'm gonna enjoy uh, because this is the better build. And that's my opinion on X Transbots, Jensen, and Fansoy's Tesla 2.0. It's, it's, it's a line down the middle, and it's really what you prefer as a collector, visually and how you want your toys, because it's a tough, it's a tough draw. He looks the tune, but that is a better made figure. By far, way better made. Now, I got... Mine from Tim Reagan. I got this guy from Shozy Store. Uh, links are down below for both. And yeah, check out Transformers Game Group. As always, check out my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.